It's Check On Stories we're following for you this morning on Robin Hood Radio. The Salisbury Wooder Sports Association Ski Jump Camp, which was meant to be scheduled today and tomorrow, has been postponed. They are shifting the two-day program to tomorrow and Wednesday. All other information remains the same, jumpfest.org. A Lakeville man will be arraigned in Torrington Superior Court this coming Thursday following arrest by state police after a motor vehicle crash in Sharon on October 26. James R. Hickey, 78, of Farnham Road, charged with driving an unregistered vehicle, driving without insurance, and evading responsibility. He turned himself into state police troop B on December 19th after learning there was an arrest warrant for him. A 28-year-old Canaan man was arrested by state police for allegedly using a debit card to purchase $359 in video games online. Anthony M. Damas of 42 Church Street told police he tried to use the card he found in a wallet that was left in a shopping cart at Stop and Shop. He attempted to purchase games on his phone. The transaction was declined after the victim's bank flagged the purchase, according to state police. He told police he then threw the wallet into the trash. He was arrested on a warrant for six-degree larceny and illegally receiving payment cards. He was released on $2,500 bond and will be arraigned January 13th in Torrington Superior Court. The American Red Cross is holding a blood drive today at Sharon Hospital. It runs from 9 until 250 Hospital Hill Road. Blood and platelet donations of all types are needed, especially type O. More information, 1-800-733-2767. From the Republican American on Sunday, Quinlan Mouse loves to travel outside the boundaries of Sharon, Connecticut, in reality and vicariously. The knowledge he's gained from those pursuits have made him the winner of Sharon Center School's National Geographic GOB for the second consecutive year. Just before school let out for the winter break, the seventh grader bested seven other students in grade five through eight to take home the prize that now makes him eligible to compete in the state contest. The Smartphone Photography Workshop for Kids in Middle and High School, grades 5th and up, is a collaboration between the Kent Memorial Library and the Teen Advisory Board of the Osaic Project. It will be held today from 12.30 to 4.30. The workshop, taught by professional photographer Christopher Burns, aims to teach kids how to use their smartphones to express themselves artistically and promoting visual literacy. You can register by contacting the library. Scheduled for tonight, there will be a public hearing of the Planning and Zoning Commission at 7 p.m. at North Canaan Town Hall. Subject to that hearing will be a proposed moratorium on boarding houses. There have been concerns that some so-called boarding houses are sober houses and are not being properly monitored. At a public hearing, the public will be able to ask questions and express concerns and make comments. Commission members will meet at a later date to make a decision. Parkinson's and exercise support groups will be held at Fairview Hospital on Lewis Avenue in Great Barrington every Monday afternoon at 1. All participants must have authorization by a physician. More information at 413-854-9635. The Salisbury Winter Sports Association invites you to their Junior Ski Jump Camp, which is being held December 30th and 31st. No experience necessary. It's for boys and girls age 7 and up. It's December 30th and 31st from 9 until 2 at Satry Hill in Salisbury. $50 per skier for both days for lunch, also included. First 25 to register will receive a camp T-shirt. Pre-registration or information is available from Ken Barker at 860-806-0471. Berkshire South Community Center is offering pickleball sessions, a paddleball sport combining elements of tennis, badminton, and ping pong. Open play takes place Wednesdays and Sundays from 9 till noon at the gymnasium located at Chrissy Road in Great Barrington. Each session is free for members, $8 for non-members. More details at 413-528-2810, extension 35. Friends of the Connick State Park invite you to join them New Year's Day for their annual first day hike to Bashbish Falls, meeting at the Connick State Park headquarters, 253 State Road 344 in Copake Falls, New York at 1, and head off to the falls via the Iron Works Heritage Trail. It's a family-friendly hike of about three miles. Shorter options are available as well. You'll meet at the Copake Iron Works, 35 Valley View Road in Copake Falls, about 115, or at the Bashbish Falls lower parking lot at about 1.30. Upon return, they'll have warm campfire, hot cocoa, and snacks. Swag like compliments from the New York State Office of Parks, first come, first serve. And always, kids and canines are also welcome. 
Show off your building skills. A meeting of the Lego Builders Club will take place the first Thursday of each month at Roll of Jansen Library, Route 22 at Hillsdale. More details or to sign up, 518-325-4101. Sharon Park and Recreation has a regular meeting coming up on Thursday, January 2nd at 6 p.m. at Sharon Town Hall. Meanwhile, in Dover, New York, the Town Board Organizational Meeting will be held on January 2nd from 5 until 6 p.m., at Dover Town Hall. There's a planning board meeting on January 2nd at 7 p.m. in Ankrum, New York, at Ankrum Town Hall. On January 3rd, the Copake Grange on Empire Road will present their monthly open mic night. It'll be from 7 till 9 p.m. You can participate or just watch as a spectator. More details, copakegrange.com. Bushnell Sage Memorial Library on Main Street in Sheffield hosting poetry readings on the first Saturday of every month, beginning at 11 a.m. More details at 413-229-7004. Boston Corner Hamlet Planning Group is holding a meeting on January 4th at 10 a.m. at the Ankrum Town Hall. The Roloff Jansen Library on Route 22 in Hillsdale presents their monthly cookbook club Saturday, January 4th, 1 to 2.30. Discussion will focus on post-holiday appetizers and mocktails. To sign up for the free forum, 1518-325-4101. Falls Village Recreation Commission offering a Learn to Curl workshop at the Norfolk Curling Club Saturday, January 4th at 2.15. $35 per person. All participants must be 12 or older. All students will spend 95 minutes on the ice with an instructor. You're asked to please wear rubber soled shoes and warm, comfortable clothing because it's 42 degrees in the rink. Jeans are not recommended. Registration ahead of time is required. Space is limited. Email reservations to fvrc at comcast.net. On the 4th, Daniel's Art Party at Simon's Rock hosts Body Sonnet, a collaboration in an unconventional space at the campus Kilpatrick Athletic Center in Great Barrington. For a 3 p.m. dance concert features Ken Rott as the MC, featuring six performers displaying their musical talents. For more details, 413-644-4400. A breakfast will be held by the Milton American Legion Post on Sunday, January 5th from 7 to 11. The menu includes your choice of pancakes, French toast, syrup, sausage, bacon, eggs, home fries, toast, coffee, hot chocolate, and or tea. The meal can be served as eat-in or take-out. $8 for adults, $6 for children and seniors. The post is located at 155 Route 44. The Sherman Chamber Ensemble presenting its annual Best of Baroque concert January 5th at 4 p.m. at St. Andrew's Church, 1 North Main Street in Kent. The program will include music for piano, oboe, and strings. General admission tickets, senior and student tickets are also available, and children ages 15 and under are admitted free with the purchase of a paid ticket. Tickets information or can be purchased at shermanchamberensemble.org or at the door on the afternoon. Of the performance for more information or reservations, 860-355-5930 or shermanchamberensemble.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the week at 28,645.26, the NASDAQ at 9,006.62, and the S&P 500 at 3240.02. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.